Narset and lip pencils I gotta try, or when you see them, should you just run on by? Find out next. Raquel here back with another video. I hope you are doing well and having a great day and hopefully you're staying cool. In my area we've gotten some rain, thank God, because it was getting hot out there. It was just absolutely miserable. So um, having the rain has definitely been amazing and making it a lot cooler because I, I don't do heat. This got to try or pass it by. We're going to be talking about the NARS satin lip pencils. Now I picked these up when beauty.com was having a friends and family sale. They retail for $25 each, but if you're able to catch them on a friends and family sale or beauty insider sale, you can save yourself some bucks. So before I show you the colors that I picked up, I want to share with you what NARS says about the product on their website. It says the seasoned NARS new satin lip pencil dresses up lips in statement shades that seduce with rich color bright pigments while drenching them in decadent moisture. A modern long wearing vitamin rich formula in a jumbo pencil format to provide great wear. An intense color with a satin finish. Um, you can use this for lining, all over lip color, or pairing with another lip product. It says it has high impact color, and it's convenient, easy, and precise in its application. So the two shades I picked up were Magella, which is described as a garment. It looks like this is actually what I'm wearing. And I also picked up Palais Royal, which is described as a sangria. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this live on my hand, but if you wanna see more pictures and how they photograph on the lips each color, definitely check out my blog, woolworkforproduct.com. Okay, so here is Magella. And here is, do you really get swatch? That is Magella Swatched. And Magella is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So it is on and popping on my lips. This shade is Palais Royal. And hopefully you can see that. And I will swatch that. I'll give you a really good swatch. Okay. This one is Palais Royal. Okay, that's good. So you can see that this is your red and this is like that, that deep sangria, almost like a berry wine shade. Something interesting about the product is they're actually named um, after parks from around the world. So I think it's kind of neat that you're getting a lip product that kind of has some history um, to say behind it. After playing around with these pencils for a few weeks, I gotta say these pencils are a got to try, but this is not your ordinary got to try or pass it by. So first let's talk about the plus and minuses and then I wanna share with you um, an alternative product I think that you'll really like as well. One, I love the color. This pencil is really rich, it's creamy, it's saturated, it glides on the lips effortlessly. You definitely get high color impact um, with this pencil. It lasts fairly well. I would say um, eating, drinking, I probably went about maybe three to four hours without needing to touch up and it does leave a stain, but I did find like in the center was kind of dissipating so I kind of had to touch up. So this is an item, if you wear it, I would still throw it in my handbag even though it does leave a stain just because you don't want that funny ring around your lips. The formula is nice, it's creamy, it's comfortable, um, it doesn't pull or tug, it, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. You can wear this throughout your day and it feels very comfortable. Now at 25 bucks a pop, these suckers are kind of expensive. So that's something I don't really like. Like I love the product, I think it's fantastic, but I'll probably be slower to purchase my next one just because of the expense. Also, with the NARS pencils, just like the matte ones, here's one of the matte ones, and I'll just kind of hold them up for comparison. You do need to sharpen these, and because these are a little bit softer in consistency as compared to the matte, you will have a little bit more waste as compared to your, uh, your matte pencils. So, you know, when you're paying $25 for a lip product, I want as little waste as possible. So you will find it'll be just a tad bit more just because the consistency is a little bit creamier as compared to the matte. 
um, lip pencil. Like I said, I really do love these pencils and if you have the extra bucks to spare, I definitely say pick one up. I don't think you're going to regret it. I think you're really going to love this pencil, but I do have an alternative. Um, this one's from Sonia Kashuk Satin Luxe Lip Color, and it has an SPF of 16. Now, I decided to get this because I wanted to compare it to the NARS, and I wound up liking both. Um, this is in color Violetta, Violetta number 89, so hopefully... Okay, you probably can't read that, I apologize. And it looks like this, so you get to see the color in the tube, open it up, looks like this, and I'll swatch it. Now with this one, you're still getting that great color, you're still getting that satin finish. Here it is, hopefully that's a good view. Violetta, Violetta right there so you're still getting that great satin lip quality but you don't have to worry about sharpening or wasting the product because it's in a lipstick tube plus the price of $9.99 versus $25 makes this a little bit more affordable so I really do think that you'll love them both, but if you want to kind of maybe try a satin lipstick or this isn't in the budget, definitely swing by your local Target. I believe they have about, I want to say 11 shades of these. I know there's 13 shades of uh, these and there's a new limited edition one that's in a red shade that you can um, pick up by visiting the NARS website. But they do have lots of nice shades of these, plus you're getting the added benefit of SPF. And if you've watched this channel for a while, um, you should know I'm an SPF junkie. It, it's so important to get it on your skin. The best anti-aging cream is SPF. And so a lot of times I think we forget about our lips until they're all dry, peeling, flaky. That's really gross. This is giving you that SPF protection on your lips so they're not getting dried out and scorched by the sun because let's face it guys, it's hot out there. So that is my official review of the NARS Satin Lip Pencil and really kind of the Sonia Kashuk Satin Lutz Lip Color with SPF 16. That is a very hard name to memorize. I hope, as always, that you found this review fun, helpful, and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you've tried the Sonia Cash Up Lipsticks, leave your thoughts down below. Or if you tried the NARS or you're thinking about it, love to hear your opinion because I love to have beauty talk. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch and I will see you in the next video. And pictures of all the colors and products will be up on my blog right now after you view this video. So visit willworkforproduct.com and I will see you next time. Take care.